Hey Digi fans and welcome back to Digidom, the series of videos where I take you from zero to digital hero using Adobe Spark. Now in today's tutorial I'm going to teach you how to put together your own digital portfolio. A place where you can tell your family, your friends, maybe even the whole world about the things that you like, you dislike, the things that you've done, your achievements, your hopes, your dreams, your fears, any of those things, a place where you can put all the information about you in one place. As always, if you're using a phone or a tablet, you can download the Adobe Spark apps for free, or if you're using a laptop or a desktop, go to spark.adobe.com where everything's all in the one place. Okay, time to go over to the tutorial where I teach you to put together your own digital portfolio using Adobe Spark page. So here we are in Adobe Spark. If you're using a phone or a tablet, you'll be using Adobe Spark page. I'm just going to click the button here. And I'm going to open up a web page. So uh, first things first, I'm going to go to all my text. Now look, people don't seem to believe me when I tell them that I write everything out that I want to put in any of these uh, Digidom tutorials. And here we go. I've got my header here, which is my name. I'm going to pop that in the title. I've got my subtitle, which is digital portfolio, because that's what this is. This is all about me. And then I'm going to add in a photo. Now, I've connected um, to Google Drive here because I've got some photos I'm going to use later down the line. But uh, what I want to show you here is you can obviously upload photos and it will bring up all your files where you can choose wherever you've got your stuff. But in this one, I'm going to find a free photo for my header and I'm going to type in journey because this is all about me and the journey that I've been on and the things I've done previously, the things I want to do in the future. Just a bit of a record of all the places and things and jobs and projects that I've been working on. So I think that's a really good one. I like that one. So I'm going to go to text, add in some text and I've got my introduction. I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to paste it in there. Now you'll see it was in two sections here and it's put it into two sections there for me. I like that. I think it's really cool. So uh, that's my kind of introduction about me. And then what I'm going to do is going to go straight into my achievements. So I've got my first achievement. Now for you, this could be something about sports. For example, I'm going to use a split layout here. It could be about, a, you know, you, a holiday you've been on, an adventure. Uh, so I'm going to put in a title and it's called TED Talk because I did a TEDx talk not that long ago and it was possibly the scariest thing I've ever done. Um, here we go. Here's the text all about it. Uh, pop that text in there. And then also I've got the video of my TED talk and I'm going to stick it in here. I can click video. Now you could be writing about anything here. You could be writing about the things that you like. It could be about your favorite sports team. It could be about your sports hero and you could find a little clip on YouTube to put in there. Now I'm going to put in an image. Now rather than it, if I want, if I didn't have my own photo, which I have for here, I could put in something like uh, speaking uh, and there might be something on, oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. And that is very relevant because, you know, when I did the TEDx talk, I had a mic. And so that would be a really good photo to choose. Uh, I've actually got a photo that I want to put in that somebody took on the day itself. And it's in my Google Drive. I'm going to go in there. This is my, it's in this one, this digital portfolio here. There we go. And what I would see is kind of chop my head off a bit there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the focal point and I'm going to drag it so it's kind of towards the top. And then you can see my face in there, which is what I wanted. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to put in another split layout. And I'm going to put in my second achievement. Now, I did something recently with colleagues of mine. It's called a creative jam. It was awesome. Pop this in as a title. H1 means header one. Creative jam. Center it. And then I'm going to add some more text in, go in and grab this text here. 
you can do control and C or command and C depending on what you're using. Um, and then I'm gonna, I've got a little report here from the day. So a creative jam was where we got lots of talented teachers in one room and we taught them how to use something called Adobe Rush. Um, and I've creative jam report. I've got a report of the day, which one of my colleagues called Sana gave to me and I'm gonna pop it in there. And when anyone clicks that button, it will take them through to this link. Once I've, um, once I present or preview this, you can be, you'll be able to see that. I'll show you that in a bit. Now, image wise, oh, I've got one from the Creative Jam just here. Select it, give it a little time to load. And there we go, here's some of the talented teachers that took part. Right, so I've got my header, I've got my title, I've got my kind of introduction here. Uh, I've got one of the achievements that I'm proud of. I've got another one. You'll see that it does image on the left, image on the right. It kind of alternates them as you go through. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my vision. Okay. My vision. This is all about where I want to go. These the achievements are things I've done in the past. And my vision is where I want to go in the future. So I'm going to pop that in as H1 as a, as a sort of the biggest title I can do. And then I'm going to grab this now, rather than just pop it in as uh, normal text, I'm going to put it in as a quote. Okay. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you when you change themes. Okay. When you choose any of these kind of different themes here, you'll see that actually the, the way the quotes work changes completely. Also changes things like the buttons. Uh, maybe I'll have a look at, what about crisp? What's that one like? Oh, that's what it was on before. Nightcap. Nice. Look at that. Really like that. That's really cool. Okay. So I think I'm going to stick with that theme. Um, right. So I've got my vision and it's put it into this very sort of cursive writing. Actually makes it quite difficult to see, doesn't it? Maybe I'll change the theme. Uh, Trek. What's that like? Nice. Okay. That's a bit clearer. Okay. Click themes to get that off. Right. So I've got my vision done and then I'm going to show you how to put in a photo gallery. Now, some of you might like to, um, you know, put in your, your personal portfolio, your digital portfolio about, I don't know, maybe like a trip you went on or something that you achieved in school where you could show a load of different photos. Maybe it would be a sports game. Maybe it would be a, a drama production or a music concert, something like that. Now I'm going to add in a photo grid. Now I'm going to show you how to do this on your computer. Now I've got these files here. I press down shift so I can select them all at once. And what it does is it puts it into this kind of nice collage here. Now one of the things you can do is you can use the arrows in order to change up this kind of system that it uses. I, I like that one. I think that's cool. But you can do it however you like. You can select and move that left if that's what you want. Cool. Save. Now I'm going to need to put some text in here as well about what happened in those live lessons. So I've got it selected already. Press the plus, paste it in there. Here are some photos from a live lesson I did with the Leo Academy Trust on how to use Spark. And there it is. But this could be anything. This could be, you know, a, a series of photos about, I don't know, how you managed to build your own race car in your garage or how you managed to put on a concert using, you know, in, in your basement, who knows? Okay, now that we've got that, it's going to be, I'm going to show you how to do the final section. I mean, this time I'm going to use a glide show, but you can do anything you like. Okay, now in terms of uploading photos, I've got them all in a gallery here. Uh, only one about five, I think. Let me see if I can see those bigger. See them as icons, that would be better. Okay, I've got five there because I've got five steps that I want to write about. If you want to change the order, you can just by using the arrows as usual. Put that one back to the end. Save that. And what you'll see is with the glide show is it kind of scrolls through really nicely for you. And it gives you a little box here where you can add in some text. Now I'll put a little title on this section, which is what? My Ideal Classroom. I've got that selected already. I'll pop it in here as a title. 
uh, and then I'm going to center it as well. My ideal classroom. This is how I think learning should happen. So let me talk you through it. I believe that writing should be more than just words on a page. And I, and I absolutely believe that. I think words on a page is great, but I think bringing learning to life is much better. Now, next one is writing is the key to making good video content. Like you'll see here, I've written all the things that I actually want to use in my content. Um, and it's even more important when you're making videos. Okay. Step three, collaborating with other people is a great way to improve your writing and your ideas because you get to share. Look at these two here, collaborating, sharing ideas, showing each other how to improve. I'll also so show you now I can grab and move that box into another place. It doesn't always have to be on the left if you don't want it to be. You could even pop it into the center. Okay, and then step four. Filming is an important skill to learn. Even if you're not on camera, if you're behind the camera, you're learning all sorts of skills like how to control a crowd. Okay, great. And then let's go to step five, which is as skills improve, more professional techniques can be used to make a higher quality end result. And you'll see these young people here and they're using green screen, which is a great way to make people think you're, you're in a different place. I'll pop that one over there. Okay, nice. Now, if you want to check it out and see what it's all about before you publish it and send it to people that you might know, you can use this preview screen. I'm going to scroll up to the top here. So I've got my name and my header, a little introduction, my, my first kind of achievement. This YouTube video will pop up and you can play it directly from there. Just keep scrolling down, you go to the creative jam. If you click that, it'll open up the report. I'll make it open up in another window. And there it is. You can have a look and see what we did on that day. It was pretty awesome. Keep going down, you've got my vision of where, where I think I wanna be over the next five years or the things I wanna do. Then I've gone into a photo gallery about these Leo live lessons. You'll see if I just click on there, you can scroll through all of these images. Pretty cool, huh? And then go to my ideal classroom and how I think learning should work. And it's in a glide show. Look at that, how beautifully that scrolls through. Love it. Collaborating is the way to improve. Okay. I like the preview. I'm happy with that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to share. And you can create a link here. Now, if you... Click that, it'll load up, and then you can just copy and send it to your friends, your family, your teacher. You can use Classroom, Google Classrooms to do that. You can email it to them however you like. Bish bash bosh, job done. I hope you enjoyed that, Digi fans. I know I did. As always, please do share your work with me using the hashtag DigiDom. There it is. Uh, yeah, and find me on the socials, Dom underscore trainer. Share your work with me. I love to see your work. And I love to show other people and give you a round of applause and all of those kind of things. As always, if you want to get the videos as soon as they come out, before anybody else, you need to subscribe. So subscribe. That's it. That's all I've got. Okay. I'll see you next time on Digidom. Thanks for watching.